Okay, so I've just been doing some testing of server 2016 with um, Ericom Access. Um, currently, we use um, server 2012 R2 um, and Ericom Access now and Secure Gateway, which is where I'm logging into at the moment. So this is what Access now looks like on um, a browser, so this is running in Chrome on my PC, it could be done on a Chromebook or any other device for that matter. Um, what I've done though is um, set up a Windows Server running 2012, uh, 2016 um, and put Aircom Access now and set it up as an RDP server and done some configuration on it, so it's an RDP 4 colon 8080, so this one's not accessible off-site at the moment because I haven't set up secure gateway or anything on it yet or put certificates on it. But other than that, it's done. So there we go. So this is the Ericom server. And let's just log in as me. You can see this is um, Windows 10 look alike. Obviously it's um, server 2016. We go a bit more false. I've been fiddling around with this to sort of optimize it and stuff like that, but um, this is how far I've got at the moment. So um, we got it so it's running on a mandatory profile. Um, so if I click on start now we'll get some useful things like Chrome and Word and stuff like that pinned to the start menu and we've only got really the things that we want people fiddling around with on here. There's a few that I might remove like VMware and uh, I've got it so settings uh, just doesn't work um, so people can't fiddle with anything or can try and go on a control panel that just tells you where to go um, and just fire up Chrome and it'll just work like Chrome. Um, I haven't done one thing yet. If I go into Word, um, it will nag you about updates. So I'm going to turn that off, but that's um, just one setting to do that. But otherwise, Word and everything seems to work pretty well, and it all seems to be fairly good. Remember, this is running on a remote desktop to a remote site, and then a remote desktop to an other server. So it actually performs quite well giving what it's actually doing. Um, and I might change the um, visual styling so you can see that it's dragging. You can the, the content of the window is actually populated when you're dragging it rather than just having the bar. You can speed up remote desktop by actually just having the square rather than the actual content of the windows dragging. But that again is just one um, group policy where you can turn off that and you can edit the properties of the remote desktop settings. Um, but as far as I can see, it works pretty well. It seems to be picking up updates appropriately. We've got Windows Server Update service running on 2012 R2, and unlike some Windows 10 clients that we've got, uh, we haven't had any issues with it talking to that server and picking up um, updates. So anyways, that is um, access now running on server 2016 um, with a few tweaks. Um, I think I need to make log off a little bit more obvious for uh, end users because it's a little bit obscure how you log off, but then again, possibly no more obscure than 2012 um, R2. So there we go, we'll stop that there.